job profiles are moving from the basic software development to AI, ML engineer, data scientist. So that means the market is emerging in a very good law. I can say there's a drastic change in the thought process of the student also. If a student is working on AI, working on machine learning or whether on data scientist, what he'll be getting is an added advantage to his career because mathematics and computer science goes hand in hand and artificial intelligence is completely based on the concept of probability and statistics. Our institute is autonomous and we were already NBA accredited. We had NAC A grade, we, were, we had a 171st rank in NIRF. So our curriculum was also aligned according to the industry requirement. Because as we see the curriculum status of various universities and colleges, it is being prepared the long years back as it was working on. But we plan to have it industry aligned so that our students can get better experience, better exposure to what is all going on these days. We have multiple people from esteemed uh, industries and academics uh, from academics as well who are working with us and aligning our syllabus as per the requirement of today. Like I can name that, TCS is working with us, AWS is, uh, we are uh, aligned with AWS also, DLT Labs who are giving us solutions to have better syllabus, better curriculum for the students as per the coming scenario. We have multiple innovation labs as well as we have alignment and tie-ups with multiple industries like Intel. We have Intel AI lab setup of 100 computers where our students can go and work there and get better experience as per the today's requirement. We have association with DLT labs. We have center of excellence for blockchain where we have aligned our AI students to work on blockchain as well. They are getting uh, a model that is known as train and hire model. They are getting multiple sessions regularly week to week by which they can undergo the latest uh, technology of blockchain and work over that. We have provided them with the platform where they can work on the blockchain. As well as we have got the tie up with AWS where the multiple courses are aligned where student can work on AI uh, courses, ML courses and they are provided credit on AWS also where they can utilize the labs also. As well as if I have to name some of them, so we have Coursera, we have an IT campus for Coursera where our students are aligned with the courses of Coursera and they can work or they can go through those courses and get themselves certified. We have got, uh, I can say there's a drastic change in the thought process of the student also. Previously, when we used to get the students, we have to align them and tell them that AI is as in specialization we can work or either we can talk about uh, IoT also. But nowadays, students are well prepared. They are well aware about the technologies as well as they're aware about that how much increases there or the scenario is going to change very soon. So they are well versed with that. We need not have to tell them or convince them for the te uh, latest technologies. They know that AI is being coming up in the market very well. So they, they already are aligned and they come to get admission in AI. As we can see the current scenario, the job profiles are moving from the basic software development to AI, ML engineer, data scientist. So that means the market is emerging in a very good law. But the drawback was we were not having the specialized people to work there. But as these programs we have, BTEC AI, BTEC AI ML, BTEC DS, BTEC IoT, we are getting a specialized chunk of uh, students who will be eligible to apply for all those jobs. So once the students move into that direction and we are giving them the complete exposure of the industry by giving them online platforms to work for labs as well as uh, industry aligned syllabus, industry alignment, hire and train and hire model. So I think by the time they complete their th third year or fourth year, they'll be ready for the most competent job that is available in the market. Nowadays, you can't uh, distinguish among multiple uh, spheres because they are all interlinked. If I talk about cyber security, we require intelligent systems that are AI based system. So if a student is not well versed about AI intelligent system, I think he'll be getting certain uh, problems for the cyber security. But if he's working in cyber security and he's aligned with AI 
machine learning, data analytics. So it will be an added advantage to the student. A student who is a core developer, hardcore developer working on Java, he can get jobs in multiple companies where Java is required. But if a student is working on AI, working on machine learning or whether on data scientists, what he'll be getting is an added advantage to his career where he can align himself to the uh, robotics department, to the machinery department, where intelligent systems are required. And as we can see nowadays, everywhere we can see AI is playing a very important role. Where we see your Alexa, your robotics, your Siri, all are based on AI. So obviously student will be getting a better opportunity. In master's degree, our focus is to make student go through the uh, research area, to go through the innovation prospect. So here, he, there he'll be getting an added advantage that he has done the basics of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So there he can move into research, he can move into developing his own uh, startup or he can even have his own product being developed there. So that will be, a, I can say, a very good thing for them. If we talk about artificial intelligence and machine learning, we all know it is based on the data that is being collected and we work on that data. That means there a probability statistics is playing a vital role. So a student who is having a mathematical concept, stats, probability, very much clear, who is very much well versed with what is stats, how to calculate the probability, how to calculate the things being done. So he can work very well with the computer science because mathematics and computer science goes hand in hand. And artificial intelligence is completely based on the concept of probability and statistics. The students that we have at NIT is from science background only and they are having, uh, I can't say 100% but 50-50 stuff we are having, 50% student who is aware about the computers but 50% are there who doesn't have a very good knowledge about the computers. But the added advantage is when a student comes to NIT, he is well aware about the concept that NIT is a brand which is having NBA accreditation, which is NAT which is NIF holding NIRF ranking. So that student who is taking admission is firstly an open-minded person. That means he has a well aware awareness about the surrounding. Once he comes to the campus, the things that we have observed in our student is, they are coming not only to learn and gain knowledge, they are coming here to upgrade themselves, upskill themselves and even ready to reskill themselves. That means they are finding their ways that how I can reskill and move towards a better technology. So when we have students here, when we have interaction with them, the best part I see in my students are they are of innovative mind, who have certain ideas in their mind which they want to implement, come up with the startup. And NIT is a place where we support students to go for further with their entrepreneurship or go further with their startups also.